Hey, it's Dave Swenson with the Dave Swenson team. I'm down here on location at the South Venice Ferry Dock, and I got Captain David right here. And Captain David, he takes everybody over to the, the beach that is owned by the South Venice residents. He does it every half hour on the hour, so on every hour and a half, he's head out, he heads out to, the, out to the beach, I'm sorry, and ultimately he picks them up and he takes them home. David said he can take 22 passengers on his, what do you call that, a skiff? No. That is a ferry. A ferry, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Now, originally, what happened was when the Intercoastal Waterway came through, that was back in 1965. They had to dredge Lemon Bay so they could bring it through here. And there used to be some footbridges that used to go across to get access to the beach. Well, of course, when the Intercoastal Waterway came through, all bets were off because they had to dredge it so the boats could take that Intercoastal Waterway. <laughs> so when that happened, they gave $150,000 to the South Venice Civic Association, which is kind of interesting. That's another story. We're going to talk about that on another video. But ultimately, they did that, but at the same time, the $150,000 provided the dockage here and also the original ferry. I'm assuming they've had a few new ones over the years, right? Uh, this is the newest ferry. It's been here about four years. Okay. And uh, it's the second ferry. It's a second ferry. Right. Oh, so they had the other one that long. That's right. Wow, they like to get the, the full use out of their ferries. So, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. so this one handled pretty good. I mean, it's got plenty of power. It's an excellent boat, yeah. It's okay. an excellent ferry. It has, has the right uh, power to size ratio. Okay. Uh, now, as far as the weather, I mean, is there a certain, like, if the wind is over a certain amount? Or? We have a standard rule where we shut down operations. 25 mile an hour winds. 25 mile an hour. So, folks, if it's really windy out there, or if we have a hurricane coming, Captain David ain't going to take you anywhere. You just better stay at home and put your shutters up and do whatever you got to do. Okay. What's your favorite thing about your job? What do you like? The people. The people? Yes. I so, even weird people like us showing up just out of the blue, it's like it's okay. It's, all, it's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's always good. Now, do you happen to live in South Venice or you just. I live in Englewood. Think of it. So he's like further down the road. He's yeah, even 15 minutes away. Yeah, further back in time, the Englewood area and everything else. So, yeah. uh, well, Captain David, you've been fantastic. So we got the perfectly sized boat, four years old, and you've been serving as the captain for the last four years, right? Yes. So they got you with the boat? No, I've been uh, I've been here almost four years. Okay. And uh, that's right. Uh, the boat and I came here about at the same. Okay. Now, do you have to have a special captain's license? or Yes, you have to have a license through the U.S. Coast Guard. The Coast Guard? Wow. Yes. Uh, okay. Great. We are the three of us full-time captains, and we, all, and we have one uh, part-time captain. We all have uh, Coast Guard licenses. Do we have to be careful if the part-timer is on, or no, they're all good to go? He's highly right. Uh, Highly, highly skilled. Okay. Yeah. So, what kind of schooling do you have to go through to be a captain or something well, like that? Well, first you have to have uh, sea time. You have to have experience on board vessels, other vessels, and then you have to sit for a license, very much like you would like if you if you were going to get an airline pilot's license. Okay. And it's uh, it's not an easy license to get. You know? I was going to say it's. Yeah. You're taking people across water, right? And that's obviously for a lot of folks, that's a pretty scary thing. So you had your little dog around here. What was your what's your dog's name? Josie. Josie. So if you come down here, if you're from South Venice, you're going to meet Captain David, and you might run into Josie as well on a good day. So thanks for watching the video today. Once again, it's the Dave Swenson team. Thanks for checking us out. Like our page on Facebook, and have a great day. And thanks for watching.